It is Stay Well Day here at Channel 8 today, and we are prioritizing your health and how to best protect yourself with coronavirus cases on the rise worldwide due to more people being tested. Some local shoppers have been clearing shelves at stores across the valley. Now, a lot of people say they're just preparing for the worst. 8 News Now reporter Sally Jaramillo spoke to a UNLV professor about the actual psychology of coronavirus and what's leading some to act a certain way. When we perceive societal immediate threats, our minds immediately go to how can we save ourselves? UNLV assistant professor of psychology Stephen Benning says ordinarily coughing or sneezing could be related to a cold, allergies, perhaps the flu, but recently it's being compared to something worse. Even the most innocuous, even the most mundane, everyday kinds of things that people do becomes magnified. Especially once we start hearing statistics of people dying, the concern magnifies. Just the possibility of having to deal with it sparks fear in people's minds. Benning says there's always a push for disaster plans, but it's often ignored. Now that there is an acute threat to people's uh, health, it seems like all possible disaster preparedness things are getting activated at once. The concerns regarding the virus are causing customers to stock up on water, hand sanitizers, and masks. Then there is the panic over the empty shelves. This is what we sometimes call the tragedy of the commons, where everyone is acting in their own self-interest um, in a way that ends up depleting the resources for everyone. Benny recommends to get your information from well-sourced locations rather than rumors or social media posts. It may be helpful not to read those kinds of things or if that's prevalent in, in a person's timeline or feed, to take a break. Sally Jaramillo, 8 News Now.